Dave Dean. Dave, how's the tournament going so far? 2014 Flow Nationals here in Indiana, PA. Uh, it, it's it's going very well, very smooth. Um, we're, we started right on time. Actually, it started at 9.01, and uh, we're, the, the match is, the tournament's moving very quickly, seamlessly. Um, you know, there's glitches yeah, behind the scenes, but those glitches haven't been exposed uh, to the consumers, fortunately. So, What I've seen, you know, is a smooth event. College coaches are really into it. You know, they get to come and see the athletes they want to see, and obviously a highly competitive tournament, a highly competitive national tournament. Uh, when you look at a tournament like this, how different is it normally to a tournament you run? Um, I, you know, this tournament is very uh, uh, focused on the uh, top, uh, you know, uh, national guys who national competitors and, and guys who want to experience competing against the top national competitors you know flow as you know is the national you know media brand that the, the best of brand and it draws uh, the, you know the very best competitors and, and coaches to, to be a part of it so um, you know when it when it comes down to it from a competitive standpoint it's very uh it's a very competitive tournament and, and i know some of the kids we have very good kids that we brought here from michigan that uh I have very good kids and, they, and they've been you know they've taken losses and uh and i've had very tough matches right from the first round when you see the innovative innovative way for implementing college rules into a high school setting how do you feel about that uh i think it's awesome I think it's exciting for the kids. I think their reaction to it—that's part of the experience—is uh, to to come here and uh, you know they they watch college wrestling now is so much on the Big Ten Network. Uh, ESPN did all the coverage and had you know just incredible numbers of viewers for the NCAA championships. And those high school kids are part of those numbers. Then all the live streaming opportunities, and so these kids are seeing these college rules, and uh, you know they want to experience them too. That's my take on, take on it. So they love it. What's it like being, you know, you were a dad at this tournament. Gabe wrestled at this tournament, I want to say, three years ago? Yeah. 2011, Gabe wrestled, he took yeah. third. Uh, what's the difference between being, a, you know, a dad, coaching, to now, you know, help organize, help make sure things run smooth? What's the difference? Um, it, you know, I, I have another son that's wrestling this tournament. And, uh, the, the, you know, when, when you're there just coaching with your son, um, you know, you, you're – you're hanging out with them in the stands, and you, you know you may be doing a little more mentoring or just hanging out, and uh, uh, you know, kind of just having a relaxed, you know, fun kind of a experience with them. But right now, uh, you know, taking over a, a part of the management of the event, um, you know, I've got a lot of different people coming at me, solving problems, and I'm kind of distracted and on task. But fortunately, I, I have great. Uh, uh, young coaches that have come out here with my son and his friends, and and uh, they're doing a great job. What's the biggest difference you see between my way, and you know my way, new way, your organization, to how Flow does stuff? What, what's the big difference? Would you say the biggest difference? I guess. Um, the flow is very, uh, in my in my opinion, of course, um, is very brand oriented. And uh, so when they're you know when they're coming in, it's it's marketing, it's branding. Um, New Way is very much uh, organizational, people, uh, pe people systems. You know, managing tournaments with hundreds, of thousands of people involved, and all the operations to to make those things. And you know, we're less uh, branding focused, marketing focused, and much more grassroots focused. Are you learning a lot? You know, as a, on the branding end of it, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, Martin. Uh, you know, is probably. If not the best, I think he's the best in the business uh, at uh, managing the branding end of things. I think he's very clear about what he's doing uh, when it comes to that. I didn't quite grasp that. I mean, one of the great things working with Martin, um, and, you know, and personally working with him, like in this event, uh, getting involved with him two years ago, uh, uh, that became a very front uh, center focus for me. Um, I couldn't quite wrap my head around it for a little while, but then. You know, he, he really uh, struck me I, when I backed up away from the tournament and digested a little bit and then started, you know, working on, you know, some of the things that he was doing and started doing my research. And I, then I really realized, you know, how far ahead he is in the game than, um, you know, most anybody that I've been dealing with in the business. As far as coaching, you're co you're, you were a high school coach. Still, 
still are. Where where where's your status currently as far as Lowell High School? Uh, I just uh, I don't know if you call it retired, but I just stepped down. Uh, for my position at Lowell High School, uh, both positions, I was in administration. I was a you know high school coach, um, but I, I left it in, in great hands. That that the next head coach, uh, his name is R.J. Boudreau. Uh, he's been ready to be a head coach uh, for the last couple of years. He's gonna be a fabulous coach. You guys are gonna hear about him, read about him. He's gonna do you know he's gonna do amazing things. Um, not to oversell him and put all that kind of pressure on him. But he's an outstanding young coach and has a great coaching staff that's with him. And uh, I, I felt great about being able to step down because I know all the parents and kids that invested themselves into the Lowell program are in awesome hands. You don't mess with the, the Dean boys anymore, do you? Do you try and wrestle them? What's that? Do you wrestle the Dean boys anymore? Uh, no, nah, you know what? Uh, there's a little one called Doak. Uh, he's... Uh, his name's Doak. Uh, he's in fifth grade, and I, and I, I wrestle around with him. The, the older kids, uh, it's gotten pretty complicated. And, <laughs> you know, age has maybe caught up with me a little bit, and so nah, not so much with those guys. Dave, Dave uh, Gabe's got a lot of horsepower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, do you think he's as strong as you were when you were in college and you wrestled in Minnesota? Uh, yeah, he's every bit as, as strong as I was. He's, uh, he might be. He's, I think he's uh, more explosive than I, than I was. How do you feel about the finish this year, third? Uh, I, I was very proud of him. I, you know, I at the national tournament, uh, he went in every match and wrestled. Uh, he didn't hold back. He went after every match. Um, I know he was a little frustrated, you know, with the loss. Um, you know, I was frustrated. I was frustrated for him. Um, but you know, he went out and wrestled as hard as he could. You know, Lutton has he's got some of the best uh, college coaches there are in the country. You know, how uh, how much does it mean to you that you can just sit back and not really have to coach him at all? Um, it's uh, it's been awesome. I mean, I, I've I've been aware of the Cornell staff and, and the work that they've been doing uh, for for years. Um, testament to Rob Cole, uh, you know. But he, he, the guys that are working under him, Damien Hahn, Cam Simez, you know, Kyle Dag, Clint Wattenberg. I mean, they have guys there that uh, are all contributing. Uh, Gabe has learned a tremendous amount from all of them. And what's best of all, they're they're even better people. They're they're the kind of you know. I knew that they're kind of guys that uh, I'd want around my son. Um, uh, it's not just what happens on the mat. You know, there's a lot more going on, um, you know, off the mat. You know, the guys are still growing a lot as, as people. All right, there's some tournament to run out there. You got anything else for me? Uh, no, I think I uh, got to go, you know, get some kids to move off concourse or something like that. <laughs> that's, that's what I've heard. So you got troubleshooting, but hey, thanks for the time. Enjoy the rest of the tournament. Thanks for the, the interview, man. Thanks, Seb.